everyone welcome back to our channel arunodayam creations today we are going to learn about the primary and secondary metabolites in case of plants primary and secondary metabolites primary metabolites the materials are the substances which are useful for the growth and development of plants are called as primary metabolites they are carbohydrates fats and proteins plants uses these substances for their own growth and development and there are some other substances produced in plants which are not useful for their growth and development those unuseful substances are called as secondary metabolites the substances which are not useful for growth and development of plants are called as secondary metabolites so now we are going to learn about those types of secondary metabolites in plants examples are alkaloids tannins resins gums latex etc so one by one we are going to learn secondary about. metabolites are not useful for plants but human beings are making use of them we are using those secondary metabolites of plants for our convenience for our beneficial activities so let us learn about them first one alkaloids these are the nitrogenous by products of waste materials produced in plants and they are sometimes poisonous also these alkaloids are uh, stored in different parts of plants first up, Cinchona officinalis. Cinchona officinalis. Its bark has an alkaloid called as quinine, which is used as an anti-malarial drug, which is used to cure malaria. Next, Nicotiana tobacco, tobacco plant. The leaves of these plants have an alkaloid called nicotine, which is used as an insecticide, which is used to kill insects. Next, Papaver somniferum, Gascasa lamuca. its fruit has morphine and cocaine which is used as a pain killer next rowel fear serpentina it is a snake root plant uh, its root and bark has reserpine alkaloid which is used as an antidote for snake bite which is used as a medicine for snake bite next coffea arabica coffee plant uh, seeds have an alkaloid called caffeine which is Uh, acting as a central nervous system stimulant which is like a stress buster which will activate our brain okay next azadi rakta indica neem plant every part of this plant has a chemical called nimbin nimbin which is used as an antiseptic okay which is used to kill germs next datura stromonium ummetapulu chetu it has a uh, fruits and flowers has scopolamine alkaloid which is used as a sedative mattu kalaginchadaniki vaadtaru okay next tridax plant flowers of these plants have pyrethroids pyrethroids which are used as insecticides that means which uh, are used to kill insects so these are some of the alkaloids present in different different plant parts uh, actually they are not useful for the plant itself but we are using them for many other purposes next type of secondary metabolite is tannin tannin they are carbon containing compounds which are uh, which are uh, produced by plants and stored in different parts of the plant they are usually brown in color these tannins are useful for making leather leather and some of the medicines so tannins are used in preparation of leather and medicines usually we will obtain tannins from cassia and acacia plants tumma chetlu tangeedu chetlu nunchi teestaru next resins so these are uh, some type of secondary metabolites which are usually obtained from gymnosperm plants gymnosperm plants actually we have angiosperms and gymnosperm plants no so usually gymnosperm pl uh, plants will produce resins uh, from resin uh, passages and these resins are used in varnishes that means uh, paints they are useful for preparation of paints example pinus plants so we will obtain resin from pinus plants next next type of secondary metabolite is gum usually we know neem acacia plants usually when they have any injury or when the branches have any cuts uh, the stems produces some uh, sticky substance which is called as gum this gum usually absorbs water and becomes a swell and it is useful for healing the wounds already we have learnt in our previous video 
so usually plants as a defensive mechanism produces gums in order to seal their wounds in order to prevent the entry of germs so uh, gums are produced in case of plants in order to heal the damaged parts but we are economically using that gum we are taking extracting that gum from plants and we are using them for adhesive purposes or for binding agents so we are using uh, uh, that gum as a adhesive agent and uh, some of the medicines in some of the medicines also gum is used next latex latex very very important uh, secondary metabolite it is usually sticky and milky white in nature milky white in nature usually latex is stored in latex cells hevia brasiliensis it is a rubber plant so from hevia brasiliensis latex is obtained and this latex is used for the preparation of rubber which is used in preparation of tights so rubber is usually extracted from hevia brasiliensis plant in the form of latex by uh, by uh, by mixing some chemicals rubber is prepared next jetropa uh, it is a plant the seeds of these plants has latex which is used for the preparation of biodiesel biodiesel is an alternative for diesel so this biodiesel is prepared from the seeds of jetropa plants so these are some of the examples of secondary metabolites in case of plants so that is about our video primary and secondary metabolites so we have learned about different types of secondary metabolites from which plant they are obtained and for which purposes we are using them okay Hope you understand well. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Jai Hind.